everyone, it's Bunhop. The newest mobile game in the Ragnarok Online franchise has been up for two weeks now. How are you enjoying it so far? If you're on the Deviling server, you may have seen me respond to some of the questions on the world chat. One of the many questions I see on both the world and the guild chat is, is VIP worth it? Should you get VIP? The answer is always, depends. It depends on what you want from the game, what your goals are, what you expect to get in return. It also depends on your personality. Do you get frustrated easily when you can't level up fast enough? Or do you play casually, just to relax and prefer to explore the game slowly rather than aim to be the best right away? While this video contains our personal opinions here at Bunhop, we hope to give you enough details that will help you decide whether or not to purchase VIP. If you want to jump right to it, go to this timestamp that you see here on your screen. Otherwise, stick around for some tidbits of info regarding the cash shop. First, it's important to differentiate the various paid items in the game. Opening our RO cash shop window, we can see that it has four tabs. Let's briefly go through each. The first are items you can buy using Nyan Berries, otherwise known as catnips. These range from Eden Coin chests, which you may want to purchase if you find yourself low on Eden Coins for some reason, refinement boxes for upgrading your equipment, and cosmetics aka costumes. The Errant House is where you can buy items with either your Zennies or Eden Coins. The Mystery Shop is where you'll find crafting materials and other valuable items. The list of available items changes daily and can be refreshed up to 20 times each day. The first refresh of each day is free, while the rest requires one Mystery Shop Refresh Ticket, aka the Golden Ticket. You found Wonka's last golden ticket! And finally, the fourth tab Recharge is where we can purchase VIPs and Nyan Berries. The first thing you see here is the first purchase gift pack which is the same as the beginner's gift on your main screen. Although it says it's limited to Europe and the United States, it can actually be purchased regardless of where you currently live. I've tested this myself by connecting my PayPal to my Google Play account. My PayPal has a credit card that was issued outside the US and Europe and at the moment, we also live outside the US and Europe. This beginner's pack can only be bought once per character and gives you 550 Nyan Berries, a Kafra gift card which has a chance to double the rewards you earned in Helheim, Endless Tower, and a variety of other instances, a pouring backpack, a GM costume, 2 million Eden coins, and a beginner's old card album, or rather, the blue card memory book in Ragnarok Origin, which contains a random blue card. I tried the beginner's pack myself and found it to be quite a good deal for the price of $4.99, which is equivalent to a little over 6 Canadian dollars, more than 27 Brazilian real, almost 255 Philippine pesos, over 70,000 Indonesian rupia, or over 163 Thai baht. So if you have the budget, why not splurge on your main character at least? In total, there are two different types of VIPs, but if you're thinking of VIP in Ragnarok Online terms, there's only one. This is called the Kafra VIP, which is a monthly subscription that gives your character a number of benefits. The other two of the same type, Normal Rebate Month and Super Rebate Month, are Nyan Berry related monthly subscriptions. So, to answer the question, is VIP worth it? Let's first establish that the type of VIP most players want usually includes benefits that you enjoy while you're playing the game. That means we're talking about the Kafra VIP. Unfortunately, unlike in Ragnarok Online, the Kafra VIP is character bound, not account bound. This simply means the benefits you'll receive will only apply to one character, the character you bought the VIP for. As you can see, I have my main here, which has the Kafra VIP card, but this alt character doesn't. And this could already be a deal breaker for many. But before we make any judgments, let's look at its list of benefits. You'll have free access to Kafra storage wherever you are in Midgard, 
which is very handy when you've reached the maximum number of items in your backpack or inventory, or if you bought potions and food buffs and stored them in your Kafra storage beforehand and want to take them out in the middle of a dungeon run. You also have access to the Kafra shop, which is basically a mobile item merchant where you can replenish your potions, arrows, and other consumables. This is definitely handy regardless of the type of ROO player you are. Aside from the two, you'll get 30% more experience when you turn in your daily quests, one of the best benefits you'll get from this subscription. You'll also get an additional 30% EXP from your daily bonus gained from combat time, which is the amount of combat time that you didn't spend the day before converted into bonus experience, and a 40% increase in your daily bonus gained from commission tickets which is the number of daily quest commission tickets that you didn't spend the day before converted into bonus experience carried over into the following day. These two daily bonuses, called Rest Experience or Rest EXP, expire within 24 hours. Which means if you didn't get fatigued yesterday and also left some daily quest tickets and you don't log in within 24 hours, all those bonus Rest EXPs will be put to waste. However, if you have a VIP, your REST EXP expires after 72 hours instead. Another benefit is it allows you to respawn at the same spot without a token of Siegfried 5 times per day, except during PvP and PvE instance dungeons. That means in any field or any normal dungeon, you can respawn after death and continue your journey just like that. However, note that this is only half of the number of times you can self-resurrect compared to the VIP in Ragnarok Online, which allows you to get 10 tokens of Siegfried daily for self-rest. It also says here that your Cat Hand Caravan trade count limit will increase to 2 times. I was totally stumped by this since I used to do the same easy daily quest before in ROOJP, so I had to ask the guild, and a very helpful guildmate named Kurth told me where you can find this. Cat Hand Caravan is actually a daily quest unlocked at level 45 where you help a member of the Cat Hand of the Doram race build the island of Malangdo. Kurth describes this as a shipping minigame much like Farmville where you collect supplies and give it to the Doram in exchange for rewards. With the Kafra VIP, you can trade two sets of supplies daily instead of one. Purchasing the Kafra VIP gives you the Kafra VIP card, where you can access your Kafra services on the go, a Kafra gift card, and an Eden coin chest which gives you an amount between 150,000 to 250,000 Eden coins. The Kafra VIP Pack 1 on the right can be a little misleading. It says you can purchase it for 220 Nyan berries, but this doesn't mean you can get Kafra VIP for 220 Nyan berries. This is something you can get after you've purchased a Kafra VIP on the left side for $7.99. In this clip, I haven't purchased a Kafra VIP yet, so my purchase eligibility is still not activated, meaning I can't get it yet since I don't have a Kafra VIP. While in this clip, I already have the Kafra VIP on, and my purchase eligibility has changed to activated, meaning I can now buy this pack if I want to. This Kafra VIP pack changes every month and as you can see, we're at pack number 1 since the game has just launched. Pack number 1 gives you 5 Mark of Devil invitation letters, 5 Combat Acceleration candies, and 2 Ether Factor supplement cards for Helheim. I'm not quite sure these are worth 220 Nyan berries since I don't do Helheim, but what do you think? The Kafra VIP itself is $7.99 a month in US dollars, which is approximately 10 Canadian dollars, over 43 Brazilian real, almost 400 Philippine pesos, over 100,000 Indonesian rupiah, or a little over 260 Thai baht. Based on the above benefits, should you get the Kafra VIP? Is it really worth it? I can't imagine any player who wouldn't be thankful for benefit numbers 1, 2, 3 as well as 7, but what about the rest? What if you're someone who AFK monster grinds until fatigued and makes sure to use up all your daily quest commission tickets? Then benefits 4 to 6 will be useless to you. What if you're someone like me who sticks to fountain dance and road view and never bother doing cat hand caravan? Then benefit 8 is also pretty useless. 
I certainly wouldn't get the Kafra VIP for a character that's still pretty new, since leveling below the server level is quite fast as long as you do some AFK monster grinding followed by questing. If you don't know how to check the server level, go to your character window by tapping on your player icon in the top left corner of your screen. Then, click on the question mark beside your base experience meter. At the time of recording, the server level is 45, but I'm sure it's gone up by a lot by now. If your character is above the server level and think the above benefits are worth $7.99 a month, then go for it. Leveling up becomes so much tougher once you've reached the server level. As with any subscriptions, I'd get this if I'm really serious about leveling up that entire month. I wouldn't get this if I knew there's something important coming up for an entire week or so. Only during a month when I know I'll be free for at least most of it to play for at least 2-3 to three hours. Note that the Kafra VIP doesn't give any neon berries, so if you expected to get some so you can purchase costumes or valuable items, then this type of VIP might not be the best for you. What you might consider getting is either the normal rebate or the super rebate, both of which are monthly subscriptions that give your character a fixed amount of neon berries daily. If you get the normal, you'll receive 150 neon berries once purchased, and every day you'll get 10 neon berries, 1000 zennies, and 1 mystery shop refresh ticket. That means that by day 30 you'll have received 300 neon berries, 30,000 zennies, and 30 mystery shop refresh tickets. On the other hand, the super rebate gives you 500 neon berries once purchased, and every day you'll get 35 neon berries, 3500 zennies, and 3 mystery shop refresh tickets. That means that by day 30, you'll have received 1050 neon berries, 105,000 zennies, and 90 mystery shop refresh tickets. This is sold for 1499 USD, over 18 CAD, over 81 BRL, a little over 740 PHP, over RP 200,000, or a little over 491 THB. Which is the better deal if you ask me? Well, certainly they are both much cheaper than purchasing Nyan Berries alone. If you pay $4.99, you'll only get 180 Nyan Berries compared to the benefits of getting the normal rebate month card. The only drawback to these two subscriptions is that you'll get your Nyan Berries gradually. You'll have to wait 30 days to actually reap what you've sown, basically. So if you're patient and wise, you'll definitely go with either the normal or super rebate depending on your budget and how much Nyan Berries you need. Regardless of how you choose to purchase your Nyan Berries, keep in mind that there are rewards for spending this premium currency on anything that can be bought using Nyan Berries in the entire game, whether you bought some costumes from the Nyan Berry shop or equipment upgrade materials from the mystery shop. The Nyan Berry rebate gives you rewards once you've spent 300, 1,500, 5,000, 12,000, 21,500, 33,500, and 55,000 Nyan Berries. As you can see, I've spent 220 so far, and I don't think I'll ever get to 12,000, but let's see. Is VIP worth it? To recap, I think Kafra VIP is worth it if your character is above the server level and you find it extremely difficult to level up, but you really really want to and if you think its other benefits are really worth the price. The normal and super rebate VIPs are definitely worth it if you only need Nyan Berries and you're patient enough to wait to get your hands on them. We hope the information we shared can help you decide whether or not to purchase VIPs in Ragnarok Origin. Let us know what you think. Will you or have you already tried out any of the above monthly subscriptions? Which one do you recommend or why not? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below, we'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell notification icon below to be notified whenever we upload our next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time!